This is the final episode of my TARP slash Financial Meltdown series. And of course the whole thing has a lot of arms and legs, but to me it boils down to one thing, which is ending too big to fail or uh, ending bailouts. We need to end government policies that make companies too big, too important, or too politically connected to fail. Um, what all of these policies do, uh, whether they are a tariff on imported ethanol or sugar, or whether they um, is a, a law that uh, buttresses uh, labor unions or financial companies, or you know whatever policy it is, it, it politicizes the economy. It makes you successful based on if you back the right politician, not if you work hard or meet a market need. And ending government interference in our economy needs to be done on a national, state, and local and individual level. Because not only do we have to vote for guys who will exercise self-control, but we need to exercise self-control ourselves because the subsidies and the free money are everywhere. And um, besides the fact that I think that the whole idea of too big to fail creates a lot of inefficiency and uh, possibility of fraud and waste and dependence on government, I also think it doesn't work that particularly well. Because if uh, you have a company in distress and a regulator says, okay, I'm going to bail you out, it uh, undermines market discipline. If you have a company in distress and a regulator says, well, I'm not going to bail you out, the regulator's lying and acting unethically. If you have a company in distress and the regulator says, I'm not going to bail you out and means it for realsies, then the regulator is undermining market stability, which he's supposed to be there to protect. Now, I don't think for a moment that ending too big to fail will solve all of our problems and make our lives perfect. No regulatory system will, but we can strengthen our regulatory system by making it more simple, more transparent, and easier to fix when things do go wrong. What I want is for politicians and the bureaucrats to whom they cede power to get out of the way and leave Americans room to fix the mistakes that Americans have made for themselves. Because let's face it, I mean, Americans will make mistakes. Bubbles happen. Uh, my next series, actually I should say our next series because it's going to be a collaborative effort, will be on the Kentucky State budget how to get it out of the hole and how to make it better.